A woman's quick instincts may have kept her safe when she saw a man with a large rock standing on a bridge on I-30 in Fort Worth. She reacted as she headed under the bridge, and the rock came crashing into her car. Fox 4's Phil Alvarado joins us now with her story. Phil. Now Brandon, there are enough hazards on the highway without someone throwing rocks at cars, and it happened to a woman who says she believes her quick actions probably saved her life. And now she's still very shaken, but she says she doesn't want this to happen to anyone else, even though she only got a glimpse of the person up on the bridge. Hi, ma'am. What can I get for you today? Erica Lewis is a hardworking mom with a son and daughter. Oh, and the first thing I thought was, oh my God, what if I'm not here for them? She was driving into work about four Monday morning and saw a man up on the East Chase Bridge on I-30. She says he threw something that came crashing through her sunroof. When it came through, it sounded like an explosion. I mean, it was just like it came through the, the sunroof and it was just like everything went like poof, like, like an explosion. Lewis took this picture of the rock that landed behind her seat. This is at least the third case in 10 days of someone on an overpass throwing rocks at cars. Police say depending on the circumstances, it can turn into a serious crime with a lot of prison time. It can go up to aggravated charge, which you can carry up to, depending on the what happens up to two to 10 years you know, in prison or in jail. Lewis's van is in the shop being repaired. The sight still haunts her. Every time I close my eyes, that's all I see is his hands going up and coming down. And it's like you could tell that whatever he had in his hand, he tried to throw it with all his might. Lewis says she did try to get out of the way, and that probably saved her. If I had not speeded up, I probably would not be here right now, because I'm pretty sure that it would have went through my windshield. Fort Worth police uh, say they are investigating and so far have not received any of the reports of uh, other drivers having a similar experience in that area. Now, Lewis says there was traffic on the highway, but there were no other cars around here when that stone, that rock, went through her car.